What's going on everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day and I was, as always I hope you're having an amazing week. A change of scenery for today. I'm out and about but I wanted to talk about a topic that comes up a lot and it's always the topic of discussion and it's also reached uh, the mainstream news this year and that is about conspiracy theories. Here I'm gonna try to pin something to the top real quick. Thanks for joining. Give me about a minute or two minutes for people to get into the live stream as always. The topic today is conspiracy theories what's true and what's not because this is something that gets misconstrued and skewed by both sides of the debate and it's kind of why we never get to the bottom of it so thank you for joining as always follow me on instagram at dream rare d-r-e-a-m-r-a-r-e -E. got some water down there and some water in the back you want the fresh water always it's very very key make sure it's clean and pure give it about 20 more seconds thank you guys what's up Joel thank you for joining Janice God bless you thank you so much thank you Victor I appreciate you guys thank you Jordan Heather blessings 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 okay so let's talk about conspiracy theories this is something that's been around for years I would say probably decades and recently it's made mainstream news because now that President Trump is in office and the internet has evolved and more people now than ever are reading new things and breaking outside of the mold of what they tell us to think. Uh, conspiracy theories are getting more mainstream and popular and more believed. So now the news, you know, CNN, Washington Post, New York Times, uh, you know, both sides of the spectrum, they're attacking conspiracy theories. You know, Roseanne saying conspiracy theories, Trump saying conspiracy theories, uh, the right wing conspiracy theories, you know, progressive left wing conspiracy theories. So there's a problem I have with it on both sides and I, I kind of want to be as honest and, and upfront as possible because I, I see both sides ruining it for everybody all the time and I'm going to tell you the two reasons that no conspiracy theories ever really get cracked to the core and hopefully people consider this and be a little more mindful. Maybe we can uh, get to the bottom of conspiracy theories and actually help some people and solve some stuff. So. The, the one problem is you have on the one side, it's the people who don't believe conspiracy theories, they call everything conspiracy theories. So if they can't fathom it, if uh, the mainstream news didn't break it and if Facebook didn't, you know, sanction it and say it's okay or whatever, they'll say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. It's fake. It's a right wing conspiracy theory. You're a loony on the left, blah, blah, blah. You're a truther, whatever. They got a name for you and they'll shut down the conversation immediately. So when Roseanne tweets about something, even if it's completely real or I say something or Alex Jones says something or Ron Paul says something or Donald Trump says something, they shut it down completely instead of having a real discussion about it and saying, okay, this part of it's true, this part of it's not true, this part of it we're not sure about, let's, let's research, let's do some journalism. They don't do that. So the one side always shuts down the discussion. It's part of the reason I really don't like the modern social justice movement, even though I, I believe in social justice, I think it's important. The modern day social justice movement does the same thing. It's racist, it's sexist, it's xenophobic, it's bad, blah, 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 it's bigotry. And then they shut the conversation down so they never get to the core of it. Is it really racist? Why is it racist? Who is it racist against? Uh, what effect does it have? Is there any truth to it? They just close the discussion. So the one side, when it comes to conspiracy theories, they just shut it down. So it's like there's very credible things. The word conspiracy means like a group or an organization, a lot of people working together. It's something that happens all the time. So the one sh side shuts it down. And what happens on the other side that this is very rarely talked about among conspiracy theorists or people in the realm of talking about things that people don't want you to talk about is they jump on every single bandwagon and they ruin the conspiracy theory for everybody. I, uh, I like Alex Jones. I think he's interesting, intriguing, and very uh, accurate with a lot of things. But something that Alex Jones does in a lot of quote unquote conspiracy theorists is they'll jump on anything. So it's like, you know, they see a picture of the Parkland kids ripping the Constitution. That's a photoshopped image. They were ripping a, a target. And then somebody photoshopped the Constitution into that and everyone shared it around. That's fine as a meme. But if you're a journalist and if you're a conspiracy theorist, you can't post that and say that's true. Another thing is uh, Alex Jones is getting sued because he put up a picture of someone who wasn't Nicholas Cruz and said this is the shooter, he's communist, you know, he's Antifa, <laughs> and it wasn't true, so he ruined this kid's life. Although, I mean, why was he in a communist shirt anyway? That was weird. But, you know, it, it discredits the con conspiracy theory when you're not accurate enough to break down the actual conspiracy theory and what's actually true 
instead of jumping on everything. So it's like, this is why we never get to the bottom of it. Me, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Um, I don't think I am. People say I am because I talk about things they don't want me to talk about and I consider and I learn and I listen. Um, so that bothers people, but I don't jump on every single thing. Most people are not like me. Um, they're either completely, they shut down the argument and say, it's a conspiracy theory. There's no way that could be true. You're crazy. How dare you question what the people who write the news told me to think. It's like, you're lying. That's totally not true. There's a bunch of stuff that they don't want you to know. And when a few mega corporations own almost every single newspaper and Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Google, YouTube are all simultaneously like, you know, uh, putting out the same exact content and they think they're the deemers of truth tellers, of course, there's some things that aren't conspiracy theories that are true that they're not telling us. However, though, there's very few people in the conspiracy realm that don't discredit it for everybody. So I understand also why other people uh, don't believe it. Someone said Infowars is legit. I'm not saying that I, I, I've always supported Alex Jones and people get mad at me for liking that because I think he's interesting and I think he's more honest than a lot of people. But if you understand what I'm saying is I'm, I'm not saying they're not credited at all or they don't do better journalism than certain mainstream elements. But what I am saying is they j have the tendency to jump on everything and say things before they even research it and, and make a big claim that they might be wrong about and they might get sued about. And it ruins it for everybody. Uh, another example would be the Parkland situation. There's a lot of red flags there. There's a lot of questionable things. There's a teacher in the school who said she saw the shooter in full body armor. There's the kid's testimony where he says, I was in school, I rode my bike to school. It's like, I, was, I saw three friends, four friends, five friends. There's enough meat there that we don't have to say, they're crisis actors, they didn't go to the school. They're 25 years old. It's stuff like that that you can't prove that very you know well might be false this is why we never get to the bottom of conspiracy theories um we have to do a better job if, if we're going to question stuff and this is just my you know honest thoughts on on the subject is we need more people in the realm that are willing to question things and willing to question the mainstream narrative and show proof and show evidence without going the full distance of never researching fully and claiming everything is is what it is with no proof or evidence so this is just something I've been thinking about for a while that I wanted to get out there what is the truth about conspiracy theories the truth is that both sides do a little bit of um, exaggerating sometimes both sides make claims that they don't know and one side of the debate tends to completely shut down the argument and say it doesn't exist there's no way it exists you're crazy for believing it and that side is in my op opinion you know maybe the most damaging because they want to shut down every argument and it's like of course i mean some of these things are basic news they they tried to say what roseanne said was a conspiracy theory when what she said was documented there's months dedicated to it by the president it's not even close to a conspiracy theory so that that side is is lying but then uh two conspiracy theorists or two people that are open-minded and willing to question things when you jump on a bunch of things that aren't true the mainstream media is then going to focus on when you said that when you when you focus on something that you can't prove that was incorrect and then they're going to discredit the entire conspiracy theory so if you do question things and this happens all the time i see people post on my comments i mean mostly thank you guys so much for commenting i see amazing comments very intelligent people very uh good discussions but there are you know people will jump on anything without proof you know a meme or or, or a, a story or a claim that they're antifa they're communists they're this they're that it's like everybody wants to fulfill their narrative more than they want to find the truth and i think that's the you know sign of a true truth seeker is it's it's not about the narrative it's not about the agenda it's about what's right or not I, I shared a quote the other day that was like you got to bend to the truth you know I'm not the truth what I say is not the truth my opinions don't matter you know everyone says anomaly why'd you say my opinion doesn't matter uh, what matters is what's true if what I say has some truth then that matters not because I said it because it's the truth and it's you know my my voice is a vehicle for that uh, vice versa to other people so it's we both sides tend to do that if you're a conspiracy theorist you want every single thing to be a conspiracy you want every single thing that happens to be a false flag you want every element of it to be fake and the truth is I think there are things that are, are, are potentially planned and misreported on and and you know lied to about but if we don't get to the truth and get to the facts 
and too many people on that side continuously throw out a narrative that is so far outlandish and so far you know unprovable that we can't focus on the facts that are interesting I mean there's enough there's enough um, documented material that you can use to make people question and be like wow like you know it's documented I'll make a video later this week and I have a good idea for it it's documented that they've done false flags it's not a conspiracy theory they've done it it's admitted it's in CBS it's you know it's on multiple uh, you know unredacted or redacted documents that are classified material now unclassified we don't have to make 50 million things about the parkland we don't have to say they're crisis actors we don't have to say this we, we got to focus on what's really there and, and I say we you know I don't speak for everyone because there's everyone's in their own lane there are really great people who talk about stuff and get to the point but that's my thoughts about conspiracy theory is there tends to be two sides that get the spotlight on them and it's either the one side that thinks everything's fake and they, they want to shut down your argument immediately and there are too many people that are on target for sure that I listen to that I love that I support that I think are revolutionary truth tellers but I think uh, in that element we need to do a better job of focusing on what's real and also not succumbing to the mainstream media and jumping on a story to be first. Everybody wants to be first. Everybody wants to report. We can't say that the shooter is a communist Antifa member with no proof. Now we sound like the, you know, the other side where they say, oh, it's a right wing white supremacist and the, the Associated Press, the AP reported that when it wasn't true. So it's like everybody wants to be first. We live in a digital age where people want clicks, people want views, and people want traffic and money more than they want to get to the truth. So, you know, both sides are, are guilty of doing it. Every, everybody wants to get the scoop. So I would say, you know, patience will help and also accuracy. But when you have people who are generally on target, but they're willing to make every single thing that they read without questioning that, and say that happened they did that they did that it takes away from the true theory which is more accurate and it also leads people further to the other side of, of thinking that people are crazy so those are just my thoughts I, I wanted to talk about it I think conspiracy theories are interesting and I think honestly we we are lied to on a lot of levels and education in many ways I think in the media completely we're getting duped where they're calling mainstream facts that they've reported on themselves a year ago now all of a sudden it's a conspiracy theory because Trump said it or because someone said it that they didn't want. So I'm not on that bandwagon. Clearly, don't don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Uh, I'm I'm all for questioning things. I'm all for a discussion. But I don't agree with people one who misreport fake information and take away from the real theory that needs to be heard from. And I also don't support people who use words. Uh, you know, they'll give you one or two labels and then they'll, they'll shut down the whole argument without uh, having a full conversation, without considering, without questioning, and without picking out certain elements of that argument and saying, I agree with that, I disagree with that, I agree with that, I disagree with that, uh, because that doesn't happen. People just shut it down and they say it doesn't exist. So conspiracy theories, are they true or not? I would say uh, definitely there's a lot that the media is not talking about that is absolutely accurate, and there's so many narratives that maybe no one knows. Who knows what the full truth is, what's going on on, on the earth? You know, I got an ocean behind me, uh, I, you know, I, I wanted to give an ocean fact, but I'm going to save it for my later video. I don't, I don't want to share all my gems now about the ocean and, you know, the earth we live on. But, you know, always question, always consider, always, um, you know, listen to both sides. Don't shut down the argument, but also try not to uh, spread misinformation about a topic that's very real. Because then it kind of uh, ruins it for everyone and, and makes everyone look discredible. Those are just my thoughts. Uh, God bless you. God bless America, God bless uh, the universe, the earth, the ocean, and the land and the water. God bless uh, humanity and your family. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to post my links below. Uh, I'll be later this week. I'll have a few videos and some live streams like normal. Thank you guys for joining and have a great week.